so no, anyway. no. but there's one thing i had written down i want to talk about was when you performed at soundset in 2017 right. um how did you get connected with that and like i just like, so that was from my that was from mine originally um is it, I've, I've told the story but i've never told like every single detail of the story i pulled up oh i, I, I don't do think i told this. this story on your podcast before yeah. like i got into an argument with my girlfriend at the time like a super crazy argument in the morning and there was i just went in my freezer and there's a bottle of henny and i just grabbed that bitch i started drinking 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 i called my brother i'm like we gotta go to this show in my mind i'm like it's just another show mm-hmm. but i didn't really put together in my head that it's like sound set like it's kind of a big deal for minnesota like the biggest show yeah it's actually the biggest hip-hop festival in the, in the midwest damn near in the country it was yeah so i'm thinking like okay we're gonna perform it's probably gonna be like 3500 4500 it's gonna be outside it's gonna be cool i'm gonna pull up we're gonna play the normal set we always do i've been playing this set it's cool get there first of all we don't have no wristbands on nothing so now we got to sneak in bro because they're like oh yeah we can get you in but he i don't know but he's my cameraman at the time my brother used to shoot videos and shit, so I give him half of my band, bro. Like, so we break the band in half, tie it like around like a bracelet, yeah. and we just walk in, boom. That's smart. Start drinking, drinking. I'm talking about really drinking. About to go on stage. They're like, hold on, wait. We think that we might need to move you guys to another stage because we're about to play Fifth Element, which is cool. It's like 5,000. And then they're like, um, Lil Uzi is not showing up or something. We're gonna, we need to move some shit around. We're going to have you guys play main stage. In my mind, I'm not stupid. I know what main stage is. I'm like, let's go. Mm-hmm. So we hop on a golf cart. They bring me to main stage before Mott even gets there. I hop on stage. And, like, it's been probably 20 minutes of silence on the stage. So everybody starts cheering. They're like, something's happening. Yeah. It's 20,000, 30,000 at that time. So now I start playing music. Now more people start coming because now something's happening on the stage. You know how festivals are. People start yeah. coming towards the main stage. So now it's like 50,000 because this is at fucking, what is it, State Fairgrounds. Yeah. 50,000 people, bro. I'm just playing music. But, like, the speakers is kind of weird. They got, like, the on-stage speakers kind of on, not, like, the full shit. Like, a lot of times when I play before artists, they don't want to give me, like, full sound because, you know, whatever. So then I start playing shit. They start kind of fuck with me. And then Sway Calloway hosts the show. He came over to me. He's like, yo, what? you're doing your shit right now. And then I'm like, in my mind, I'm drunk as hell. But in my mind, I'm like, whoa, this Sway just told me, like, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> So I'm like, fuck, I got to go crazy. And he's like, wait, Lil, you got to tell them your name. And I'm, so, you know, I start capping on the mic. I, when I start getting drunk and getting on the mic, nigga, what? Care better than set? Let's go. Mm-hmm. So we start going crazy, boom. We play mod set. They not really fuck on him, though, because they want to see Lil Uzi. Yeah. So I'm kind of disappointed. I'm like, fuck, like, I've been touring with this nigga. Like, I fuck with mod, though. So I'm like, fuck. But after, they like, you should stay up there. Keep playing. So I just keep playing for a while. So then that kind of drove a riff. I felt like between me and Mod, because like some of his people was kind of like, you supposed to get off, you supposed to get off, you kind of taking away from his shine. But I'm like, nigga, I'm going crazy. Fuck this shit. This yeah, is my moment. Oh, nice, what? Me. This is my, I'm from, I'm from here. I told myself in fucking ninth grade, niggas, everybody in high school, like, let's go to Soundset. And me and my brother was like, we're not going there until we play that shit. So for me to be there playing in front of 50,000 people, bro, drunk off Hennessy with a bottle on stage, you gotta do it, bro. Dream come true. Gotta do it. You gotta, gotta see, see it through, through. my boy. Wait, you say, go ahead. Gotta see it through, bro. Come on. Dream come through. Dream what? come true. 